continue on this path, we're going to run out of resources, even though there's other U United Nations studies that show by the year 2035 or so, the population is going to naturally level out. But the inconsistency that I find in the United Nations program and their, their push for population stabilization is, on one hand, they claim we need to be stabilizing the population. On the other hand, they are making it difficult for population stabilization to occur. It's a little known fact, it's actually a well-known fact, that whenever third world countries industrialize or bring themselves into first world status, where there's a higher standard of living, naturally population rates decline and almost level out to the point where as new generations are coming in, they're simply replacing older generations. However, in third world countries, uh, like much of Africa, we see exploding population rates, uh, and some of this is due to uh, people that are growing the size of their family to help make ends meet and provide sustenance for the family. Uh, there's a whole slew of reasons why this takes place. So what's taking place with the United Nations, on one hand they're telling us, oh my god, it's so important, we have to, destab we have to stabilize the population, even to the point of reducing populations, even to the point of sterilizing whole populations and generations of African women which they've done. On the other hand, the United Nations has programs like the International Monetary Fund and World Bank, which are going into these very third world countries, putting them in debt, and making it to where the natural resources of that country, rather than benefiting the population of that country by developing, by exporting, and by creating industry, are going to benefit multinational corporations. At the same time, as we have these tax schemes which are taking control of the economies of third, third world countries and not allowing them to develop, we have the United Nations coming in with a sustainable development program saying that if your country were to industrialize, it would be too high of a carbon footprint. We're going to put taxes on your country. We're going to put regulations on your country to make it absolutely impossible for entrepreneurs, capitalists to come in and develop the natural resources to bring your country out of third world status into first world status where the population would stabilize. So again, the inconsistency that I'm finding here with the United Nations and these international programs is that on one hand they claim that population stabilization is of the utmost importance, but on the other hand they're using their institutions like the International Monetary Fund and other international environmental controls in order to create an environment where third world countries which have high population rates are not capable of bringing themselves into first world status where the population rate will naturally stabilize. So it's inconsistency. That leads me to believe that they don't care about stabilizing the population. They really just want to control the masses and create an environment where there's so few people who have so little power that they'll never ever ever be able to rise up and take control of the institutions of power in society.